Victim has fallen to my blade. Back off! I do not consult with beasts. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. 
play. Another victim has fallen to my play. Have to mark my forces? I shall pay dearly for that. Another victim has fallen to my play. Sorry for making you. Yeah. I may not bat you, but I can lend a hand. Back off. Yeah. A true warrior yeah. and you yeah. will carry yeah. an army across the land. Another victim has fallen to my play. Farewell, Guan Zhao. Continue my path of conquest. I will never forget you. These results should suffice for now. Greetings to you, Shahudun. You've done well. Yuan Shao is gone. The times are changing, and no one's left from the old guard to stand in the way. Now the true fight really begins. That is what I suspect is the case. You're as smart as ever. You're right. You have realized what the true purpose behind my battle is. But still, I don't see what lies beyond the battle. Cousin, will you not even tell me? There is a time and a place for everything. It is still much too early to speak of the future I wish to build. You and your secrets, Cao Cao. Well, I guess I'll just have to end this chaos. That should help to get everything out into the open. Having broken Yuan Zhao, Cao Cao came to tower over the other great generals. Cao Cao attained the position of Prime Minister and moved south to take the province of Jing. He took advantage of the struggle to succeed Lieutenant Governor Liu Biao and easily took the province. Meanwhile, Liu Bei, who had been staying in Jing province, fled with his loyal followers toward Xiangling in order to escape the clutches of Cao Cao. Fearing that Liu Bei would establish a power base, Cao Cao immediately organized a force to hunt down Liu Bei and set out on his trail. And so Liu Bei stands against you. I wish we had destroyed both Liu Bu and him at Xia Pi. We made a decision. It was the right one. I do not have any regrets whatsoever in what we chose to do. He attracts people to him. That is Liu Bei's gift. It is a skill to be envied. It is also one to be feared. Compassion alone will not remedy this chaotic world. Things will just repeat themselves over and over again. <sighs> As usual, talking about this makes my head hurt. Anyway, all that matters to me is knowing that he's interfering with your plans. Nothing else concerns me. I will be back soon. Ha!
I cannot allow Liu Bei to roam free. He must be found and captured, dead or alive. Ah, I knew it! Cao Cao is the devil himself! Forget about the people. The only one I care about is Liu Bei. Liu Bei will not run if the people are being hurt. An effective plan, yet lacking in grace. You believe your wits are a match for mine? You cowards dare to attack the people? Your acts will not be forgiven nor forgotten. The support of the people for our lord is his strength. I cannot allow you to threaten him any longer. Back off! I shall pull back his plan. Another victory has fallen to my blade. For my friends, for my people, for our future, I cannot lose. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my leg. I am mine. Another victim has fallen to my leg. Are you ready to face me? Well done, Shahodun. I brought life to my troops. Back off! Realization of my lord's dream, I fight! I battle for justice! The spear of Xiao Yun shows no mercy!
Please, forgive me, cousin. I was unable to capture him. It doesn't matter. He has been driven from Jing and lost most of his forces. That alone was worth it. Hmm. It is a full moon tonight, isn't it? Shaho Dun, come along and we'll drink together. I feel the moon calling me. I have spent much of this life that heaven has granted to me out on the fields of battle. <laughs> That's not like you. I too am a human being. I grieve for all the wasted lives. However, within my vision there lies a greatness beyond the worth of life. A vision that exceeds all the worth of life itself. You don't lack for ambition, do you? I have a destiny of my own. To help create this world of yours. <laughs>